guys, Jason here from Inshore Fishing. Right, today we're doing something a bit different. Brought this little kayak a little while ago. Only paid a tenner for it, I think it was. Um, and the reason I only paid a tenner for it is because the previous owner split the bottom and they've repaired it with fiberglass, but they've done an absolute shocking job of it. So my plan today is we're gonna get this off, get this sanded right down, Get all the old stuff off and we're going to re-glass that in get it all sanded down and hopefully get it ready for the water because hopefully i want to do a few kayak sessions at low water and stuff like that so yeah we're going to get the tools out we're going to get all set up and we're going to get onto it guys so stay tuned and we'll get you back in a sec right guys so first things first let's get this sanded down See how easy that's coming off because he obviously they obviously didn't sand it first. Give it a key. There goes the kayak. But there you go. I say he clearly obviously didn't sand it, and it obviously hasn't keyed in enough. We're going to clean it up now. See there, they've used silicone on it as well. Look, I'm not sure how big this hole's going to be, but either way. By the time I've glassed it all in and that, it's not going to leak again. But that's just unreal. It's madness. We'll get the rest of this off, guys. And we'll get back. This is the fiberglass kit that I'll be using. Normally I'd use my own fiberglass, make it all up myself, but I brought the kit, so yeah. There's the hole, guys. You can see they obviously tried melting it together as well. We're just going to sand all around the edge of here, give it a bit of a key. sand it with a bit more heavy duty p40 sandpaper there's a grinder since the blade's quite old on it it's just smoothed it up now and up there. so we want something like this and that gives that a nice key I'm just going to put a bit of duct tape just over the hole. I don't want to go too mad and cover too much of an area with the tape. It's literally just enough just to stop the fiberglass resin falling through. Just like that, that's absolutely fine. So it's just to stop the resin falling through. Right, we'll mix up some resin, I think. Get some glass cut and get a coat on it. Thank you. 
Again, we don't need a lot. I'm not going to go mad of it like they did. I don't think there's any need for it. So that will literally go on there like that. What we'll do is we'll slice that there. To allow it to fold. Same with that there. Same with that there. And that's just going to allow us to fold it without having any real big problems creasing up or anything. So we've we'll cut a strip like that, we'll cut another strip as well. I'll go one more as well. We'll also want to cut just some smaller bits, like so. Just around the edges and stuff. Right, and we're pretty much ready to start glassing. What we're going to do, we're going to go 20% resin. Which is that, which should be plenty for what we need, he says. And then one piece size drop of hardener. 10 mil, we're going 20 mil, so we go a little bit more. That should do, I think. Mix that up. God, I love the smell of fiberglass resin. Should be fine. Put that back in there. Right, so what we want to do is just paint on this all around here, over the top of the tape as well. Normally, like I say, if I'm fiberglass, it's on a bit of a bigger scale than this. Bigger brush, bigger mix, and whatever. But it is only a small job, so. There's no need to go mad with it. Probably shouldn't have mixed it up in this tub. I should have kept the tub for the measure and the gear, but never mind. Right. Have I gone wide enough? Do I go a little bit wider on it? there and let's get this on again probably a good idea if you wear gloves which I, I haven't got any I don't know what I've done with them must have used them all up so now we just want to start coating this again Do is I'm going to put a couple of these strips over it like this. going that slightly bit more on it because obviously I'm not going to drag it as much as I normally would if it didn't have a hole in it but obviously it is going to be dragged a little bit on the sand so we don't want it um, we don't want it peeling off I 
Look guys, so what I've done is I've put, put a little metal plate on there, look. And that's going to help it now, when it's dragging up and down on the beach. Again guys, really you should have gloves on for this. I just I thought I had some. Obviously not. Right guys, all we've got to do now is just wait and let that go off. Once that's gone off, we'll sand it. All this here, we'll get rid of all this here, all the runs. It's too sticky at the moment to um, sand down. But as you can see, there's the metal plate that I've uh, glassed in there. So if that does wear down, this it's all sealed underneath, obviously, as you've seen in the video. So obviously, if this wears down, it's only going to wear onto the plate. And once it's the plate, it ain't going to go anywhere. But no, that's going to look smart once it's done. Clean. We'll get that brush down and get a bit of spray paint on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of primer on here. Oh guys, paint brush is a bit overkill, but I didn't have anything else. Can't even get it in the tub. Same colour as my boat, this. What a difference when we first started it. Eh? Lovely finish on that. We'll get you back in a bit guys when we take the tape off. There guys, that's the uh, finish, finished on it now look. Much better than what was there originally. As you can see at the start. So yeah, I'm hoping if I can later, I'm going to try and take it out. Maybe take a spinning rod with me and try for a bass or something like that. But yeah, cheers for joining in guys. And coming along and watching the old uh, repair work on the kayak like i say um brendan from ci fishing he's been on about doing a kayak session um i just haven't got around to doing it so i thought yeah why not um do it today it's nice weather so yeah there she is she's all ready to go hopefully we'll uh catch you out on the water guys let's have a cast there, see if there's any fish about. 